Welcome back to this episode about date and time functions in PHP. You will often want to work with date and times whenever developing a website. For example, you might need to show the last modified date on a post or mention how long ago a reader wrote some comment. You might also have to show a countdown of the dates until a special event. Right now, I want to focus on the date function, so let's echo it out. So let's echo out date parentheses semicolon. Let's save it. Let's echo it. And you can see that we are getting a warning because we didn't use any parameters inside the parentheses. A date function takes a maximum of two parameters. So I already wrote some comments and let me paste it. These letters are the format parameters that accepts a series of characters as valid values. And as you can see, some of them might be pretty straightforward and some of them don't. Well, let's actually test it out so I can show you what it actually is. So in simple quotes, you just want to write down one letter. So let's start with D. Save it. Refresh the browser. And it's the 3rd of December right now. And if I write down a J, you would write down the day without the zeros. And if I write down D with a capital, let's save it, refresh the browser, you get the days of the week, but only three letters. If I write down an L, you can see that it's writing down the full days of the week. And the D for days of the week and D for day makes sense. The J doesn't, the L doesn't either. But let's test down the M. And that's a month as a number with zeros. Well, it's December right now, so it's 12. And let's write down an N. And it's still December, of course. Let's write down an F. And you can see, F with a capital, sorry. Let's save it. And you can see that the month is actually December. And you got a Y. Let's try it out with lower. Save it. It's 19 now. And if you want the full year, you have to write down the Y with the capital, which is equal to 2019. Usually, what you just want to do is to combine some of these formats. So normally, you just want to print down the year, month, and day. And this can be done right inside one set of single quotes. So what if you might have thought was y comma m comma days. But if I save it and refresh it, you can see that it's wrong because we're passing in three arguments right now. So let's remove it and I'll show you how it works. But you need to put something in between as a separator. And this can be a dash, hyphens or backslash. So let's test it out with backslashes first. So I want to see the year, I want to see the month, and I want to see the day. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that it's 2019, December, and it's the third. And you can echo the format to whatever you want, so we can change it around. Let's say that we want the day, we want the month, and we want the year. Let's save it. Refresh it, and this makes more sense if you're from Europe because it's the 3rd of December in 2019. In addition to working with dates, you could also work with times, and these have some different formats as well. So let me add them. Times. So we have the letter G, which is equal to hours in 12 hour format without zeros. We have the H, which is equal in hours in 12 hour format without zero. I mean with zeros, excuse me. We have capital G, which is equal to hours in 24 format without zeros. So I'm from the Netherlands and we work with a 24 hour system. And I know that in the US they work with AM and PM. We got capital H and which makes pretty much sense as hours in 24 hour format without, excuse me again, with zeros. We've got small letter A, which is equal to AM PM in lowercase. 
and we've got capital A, which is equal to AM PM in uppercase. We've got the letter I, which is equal to minutes without leading zeros. So pretty much the same as the J, so the zero will be removed. And we got S, this is the last one, and this is seconds without leading zeros. The time format works pretty much the same inside the date function. So let's start over again. Let's echo out date, and we want to know the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. But you need to remember that instead of using hyphens or backslashes, with times, you need to add a column. So what we want is the capital H, which is hours in 24 hour, with zeros. We want the minutes, and we want the seconds. Inside single quotes, of course. So let's save it. Refresh the browser, and let me comment out the date. And you can see that it's, well, pretty late right now. It's almost nine. But what you can do, which is pretty good if an American is watching this course, you can add the AM PM right after it without a colon. So let's refresh it and you can see that it's almost 9 p.m. And like I said, I'm from the Netherlands, so I use the capital H, but you can change it to lowercase. And this is American time zone. So as you can see, mine works right now. But yours could be different, and that's because your PHP or XAMPP might be in a different time zone. So what you need to do is to define the time zone, and therefore, we need to use a new function. Right below our echo, we need to call a function called date underscore default underscore time zone underscore set, and not get. So let me add a comment, set time zone. And what we need to add inside our parentheses as a parameter, well, first off, single quotes. And secondly, we need to add our location inside our single quotes. And this might be different for everyone, but right now, I'm in Europe slash Amsterdam. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and of course, nothing is happening because my time is good. So I hope yours is changing if you can set it to the right time zone. So another good thing that you might need is to change a string date time to an actual time. And this can be done with a new function. So let me add a new comment. Now let's say string to time. And since there is not one format that you can use, and I won't be discussing all seven of them, I will share you a link from W3Schools with all the different formats that you could use. So let's open a new tab. And let's Google string to time. And let's open the Wii W3 schools. So these are all the formats that you can use. And what I want to focus on is creating a new variable called time and setting it equal to string to time. And as you can see in their example, they're not echoing it out instantly. And that's not what I want. And inside my parentheses, I want to use double quotes. I want 4 p.m. December the 3rd in 2019. And this doesn't make sense right now, but it will in a second. And if I go back to my local host, save it, refresh the browser, you can see that nothing's happening. So let's echo out time. And you can see that a weird number just appeared on our screen. Let me add a break. Echo break. And you can see that a random number appeared that we don't know. And this is a Unix timestamp. So let me add a comment what this means because, well, it's pretty difficult. So let me add a comment. And it is the timestamp that the value represented as seconds calculated since Unix epochs on the January 1st, of 1970, created. And this is also called the Unix timestamp. And you don't need to know what, what it means. I don't know it either. But what we can do with the Unix timestamp is to put it in a date time. So let's go one line below. And what we want to do is to echo out the date function. And inside our date function, we want to print out some things. We want to print out the month, the day, and the year, followed by the hours, 
the minutes and the seconds. And I want it to, to be AM or PM with an A. And like I said, the date function takes two params. So let's add our second. Let's separate it with a comma and add the variable time, which is equals to string to time. So what this does is it converts whatever is in our string to our date time. So let's add a break, save it, refresh it, and you can see that the output is whatever we wrote down in our string. And you can do whatever you want with it. So let's remove the seconds because I don't mind. And this makes pretty much sense, right? This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.